Okay, cardio pump up workout number two. So today's class is an advanced level full body class. We're going to uh, tap into every possible muscle fiber that we've got. Uh, I hope you're ready for it. It's going to be quite intense. Uh, the workout format will be 45 seconds active and 10 seconds of rest. We've got 10 exercises to go through. We're gonna go through one to 10 and then we'll go through that same uh, format again. So let's get started with a warm up. We'll just start jogging on the spot. And while you're here in the warm up, just make sure that each exercise you're doing, you're focusing on open posture. So from the get go, we haven't encouraged ourselves to slouch or hunch the shoulders forward. We want to switch on the abdominals as well. And you can get some arm movement in if you'd like. From here, just bringing the feet up a little bit higher now. So we're actually completely kicking the butt if possible. Again, keep those arms in. Now for our next one, we'll do a curtsy lunge and we're gonna pair it with a row. Arms will be parallel to the floor. Fingers are separated, so we've got air between the fingers. We're inhaling as we reach forward and then as we exhale, we'll take one leg back behind us for that curtsy. Now make sure you've got a sweat towel handy today, maybe a glass of water or a water bottle handy. I'm gonna be working really hard. Um, if, you, whew, if you have any available equipment at home, uh, such as weights, you can certainly add them to a few of today's exercises. Otherwise, we're not using any equipment in this. All right, so after this next one here, we're just going to come into a high knee keeping that heart rate elevated. Now with our high knees, we're pointing our toes. Okay, coming into a reverse lunge now, we're gonna add an ab twist. So once you've taken that lunge back, we're going to twist towards our front leg and then come straight back up. going through. Feet are parallel and they're always hip distance apart so when you step behind just make sure that the back leg hasn't crossed over the midline. We'll do one more on either side. Now from there we're just going to take a nice dynamic stretch here. Bring the legs out nice and wide and we're going to brush opposite hand through Good. If you'd like to match the breath to this, which I definitely suggest, we'll exhale on the way down and inhale on the way up. Just keep the knees bent. If your hammies, if your hamstrings are a little bit tight. Okay, we'll do one more of these. Now from here, we're gonna come into a bodyweight squat. We're gonna add a twist as well with the torso at the top. So this one here will bring opposite elbow to knee. If you find you get a little dizzy doing this one, you can take out the twist and just do a regular bodyweight squat. Keeping the lower back nice and flat here instead of dropping through the lower back. Really focus on that lower half of the abdominals, pulling up towards the spine. We're getting nice and warm now. For our next one, we're gonna come into a clap jack. So jack because it's a jumping jack. Clap for obvious reasons. <laughs> you can also walk this one out. Just step side to side if you're wanting to conserve some of your energy for the actual workout. Or if you've got, uh, if you're living in an apartment building, you've got people underneath you, you can do that instead. From here, coming up to the back of the mat, we're just gonna finish 
with a quick round of push-ups. Something for the upper body, bring it down onto the knees. Feet are lifted. We'll inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. We'll just do a short uh, interval of these. Let's just do two. And one from here, tucking the toes under and walking it back up. So we'll start in about 10 seconds with our first exercise. It's going to be a kneeling get up with a squat jump. So this one, find your squat position. We're going to come down knee, knee, foot, foot, jump. And then on that next one, you start with the opposite leg. Knee, knee, foot, foot, jump. When you come out of that jump, find your lower squat here and then go into that kneeling position from there. Same happens when we come out of our kneeling position. So when we come up here, we stay low before we take that squat. Kneeling. You can obviously increase the pace. So try and get some nice powerful jumps in. These last ones. All right, next one is a down dog push up. Come into an A frame. Hips are lifted. Feet are hip distance apart. We'll start in two seconds. Now for this one, you can bend the knees if you need. We're gonna bend our elbows out to the sides and we're threading through. So head goes first, followed by the shoulders, chest, belly. If you can keep the hips off the ground throughout, do it. If this is a bit too much, come back into a shoulder press push up. Wherever you are though, we have an arch to the back. We've got the back flat. Enjoy a quick hamstring stretch as well up the top here. Ooh, oh my goodness. Ooh, this is definitely a nice warm up for the upper body. That's for sure. Okay, so exercise number three, three lateral jumps side to side, followed by one narrow squat jump. So come to one side of the mat. We're going to jump three, two, one, and one lift up to the sky and one lift up, one. Now, if you've got a mat that you're using here, we're darting, if we can, pretty much the end of our mat. Now, from a side view here, we wanna make sure that we're landing in a bent knee. If you need help with the balance, pop the back foot on the floor when you land. The vertical jump comes from both feet. Three seconds, get in one more. All right, two plank jacks and eight mountain climbers coming onto the mat. My face this way just to change it up. <laughs> okay, eight, seven, six of mountain climbers, two plank jacks. Now, if you want to, Slow it down, but try and maintain that full plank. You can also do a toe tap instead of a plank tap, or a plank jack, sorry. If you lose count, that's okay. Just jump back in whenever you're ready. If you need breaks, again, take the rest breaks at any, point, uh, any moment. If you need a bit of a break, you can always hold a plank on the knees or the toes. Okay, so, so moving on to tricep dips now. Let's come onto our feet and our hands, and bringing up the hips. And this is an elbow bend. So with tricep dips, we don't want to confuse them with a hip thrust movement. So instead of lifting and lowering the pelvis, keep the pelvis up and try and just bend the elbow joints. It will be most likely a much smaller range, that's okay. We want elbows bringing, um, being brought back straight behind us instead of out to the sides. Core is tight, squeeze the glutes. Okay, we're almost there. We've got about five seconds. You can always do this from the bottom as well. 
Okay, mountain top jump squats. Now the reason they're called mountain top is because we're literally drawing what looks like a mountain. This triangle shape throughout our jumps. So both sets of fingers to the same toes. And we jump in between. Now, the reason we're reaching for the toes is to add that layer of intensity so that we're making sure we're bending the knees deeply to a point where we can actually reach our feet. You want to take out the jumps for a few, come back to a regular body weight squat. Almost there, we have three, two, one. Okay, so hand release push-ups. We are on the mat for this one, either on the toes or on the knees. Okay, hand release push-ups. So when I say hand release, this means that at the very bottom of that push-up, we're on the mat, hover the hands off the floor for a second or two. If you want to come from the toes, by all means, take it up there. You'll know if the toes is too heavy an option because when you lift up, you'll do this kind of roll off the ground. We're trying to keep the back flat and the body lifting as one. So abs are engaged before we even leave the ground. Oh, wow, four seconds. <laughs> wow is all I can say. <laughs> okay, next one, jump lunges. 45 seconds of these bad boys, okay. So pick a leg, take it in front. Now as for arms, you can hold the hands in front of the chest or on the hips. If you need a break, step it back into a reverse lunge and or add a double pulse at the bottom of the exercise. Otherwise, continue with full jumps. Ooh. Just sing through it. <laughs> Think of something to distract you from that burning sensation through the legs. All right. Ooh. Okay back extensions and we're going to do a star motion with our legs so we're holding up now the arm reach is optional you can pull the elbows back here if you want or rest the forearms on the ground now when we're doing any back extension or a leg lift from this position we want to think about Knees straightening. You can add stars to the arms as well if you want. Or again, keep that hover back down by the sides of the body. Point the toes, you've got five seconds. All right, we are rolling onto our back now. We've got a bicycle crunch. So, Lifting the shoulders off the ground, fingers are up to the temples, and we're going 45 seconds. So for a bicycle, you just want to be careful to not take the knee in too close to the head. If you do that, we're turning it into a hip flex exercise. So thinking more so about the knee just meeting the height of the hip. You can always do this with the upper back on the floor if you want to take out the crunch. You would just turn it into that single leg switch. Oh wow, okay. My abs are on fire. I'm gonna push through though, five seconds. Okay, so that's our 10 exercises. We're gonna have a little break here. So feel free to grab some water. We'll return in a second. Okay, so kneeling get-ups, squat jumps. Bring it down and up. Okay. 
Now round two should be more intense. We've worked our body quite thoroughly already. So this second round is mostly just about finishing off the muscles we've already tapped into. So again, find the low squat, kneel it down from there. Find the low squat before jumping up. Last couple. All right, start and dust with that one. We've got a down dog push up next. Take our hands, shoulder distance apart. Feet are hip distance apart, knees are bent if you need. Hang down. Again, if you don't want to do the full thread through, you can hold here and just do that shoulder press push up. Main idea is that we want to keep our head being brought down between the hands. Okay, last couple. Shoulder press or the full version. All right, that one is done and dusted. So we're gonna to come to our three lateral jumps and one narrow squat jump to the ceiling. Pick a side of the mat to start on. 45 seconds. Three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Because we're doing three, we'll be at a different side of the mat each time for that vertical jump. When you land, make sure that you're not again letting go of the back and letting go of the core. Okay. Lots of energy, please. You've got 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Okay. Two plank jacks, eight mountain climbers. Let's move it down. Onto the floor. All right, two jacks, eight here. Again, if you lose count, that's okay. If you need a break, hold your plank on the knees or on the toes. I'm burning out here, but if you can keep going, please do keep running it out. You've only got seven seconds. We don't have to return to this exercise. All right, okay. Tricep dips. Come onto the floor, hands are sat behind us this time. Fingers are facing our heels. Lift up the glutes. So make sure you've got that nice setup first, where hands are in the same position as each other, all fingers are facing the heels, we're hip distance apart with our feet and our knees, and instead of doing a hip thrust, we're bending and straightening at the elbows. If you want to do it on the, on the uh, bottom, come down here instead. Same rules apply, we point the elbows behind. Almost. All right, now next up, we have got those mountain top jump squats. So again, this is where we're gonna draw that triangle shape in our arms. Now, if you don't have sweat droplets going down your face by this point, maybe we need to think about upping the intensity somehow, whether it's jumping higher, squatting lower, or just increasing pace. You can take out jumps if you need. Keep going. We're on the home stretch, 12 seconds. Those quads at the moment should be burning up. All 
All right, hand release push-ups. Let's come onto our knees or toes. We've got a wide stance with the arms. Belly drawn in, hands come off. And then again, lift the abs up before you think about leaving the ground. We're up here, zip up through the abs. Now the most common thing I'll see with a push-up is this dipping of the lower back. So if that's you, don't come all the way down. Do a halfway version and obviously take out the release of the hands. We don't want to live the consequences of taking the hands off the floor when we're up that high. <laughs> All right. Now, we have got our, I hate to say it, but jump lunges. <laughs> Every ounce of me did not want to just speak those words. Okay. Left to right. You can always break this into half as well. You can jump in and then out, in and then out, or you've got that reverse lunge variation. That's mainly if your lungs start giving out. It should be hard, but we don't want to feel as though we're about to faint or we don't want to feel lightheaded or dizzy. I'm so sorry for putting these in the routine. I really am. <laughs> Three seconds. All right, we have got back extensions with the star position of the legs. So come down onto the front. Now arms are forward if possible. We're in our lift. Or elbows pull back. Our main focus is the lower body. We are getting really close to the end now. 17 seconds of this. We don't have long until we finish the whole routine. Stay with it. When it starts to get really tough, try and take a deep breath. And we'll get our head back in the game. Three seconds. All right, yowza. Okay, <laughs> we have got those bicycles. This is our last one. Now, as I said earlier, we're focusing more on knee being above the hip than we are knee in towards our face. It's more of an upper body reach. wearing sneakers I know it's a little harder to point the toes but do your best we want to get the entirety of the legs working almost done stay with it we've got nine eight oh my goodness that is it so from here We'll move into our stretches. Now, while we're seated on the mat, we might actually come straight into a tricep stretch. Of course, you can do the standing as well, if you'd like. Or kneeling, just wherever is comfortable. Now, workouts like this just go to show that you don't need to put in hours and hours in the gym struggling through. If you are limited on time, uh, there's always a way we can fit in a mini workout. This one took 18 minutes or thereabouts. So yeah, but hopefully we feel like we've been working for a good hour or so. <laughs> okay, from here, let's come up to standing. Now, with our feet hip distance apart, we're going to bring ourselves into this forward fold, interlace the fingers behind the back, and we've added this reach up, this uh, chest extension, chest expansion. The main focus is the upper body here. So, instead of completely straightening the legs and causing a rounding of the back, 
Instead, just focus on this upper body movement. Now from here, we will plant the hands to the floor or to the knees, and we'll just come into our hamstring stretch. Making our way down to the mat, we're gonna take one leg back. So we're in this deep lunge. Now the leg that's behind you, we're keeping straight. And we're just focusing on pushing the hip of the back leg down to the floor. If you want to, we'll now add a spinal twist. So opposite arm to the front leg. Sorry, that's the same arm to the front leg. What am I talking about? This is what high intensity workouts do to your brain. They just turn it to mush <laughs> immediately after. We'll step it back to the second side. So core is switched on. The hip of the back leg is tucked forward instead of dropping down into this arched position of the back. Okay, we'll place the hand down and we'll take our twist. For our next one, we'll do our glute stretches. Let's come onto the back and just interlacing the hands, the fingers behind one thigh and we'll just pull in. Now, if you've got um, either tight glutes or sore glutes, you can always put the foot on the floor and instead use the hand to push that knee away from you. If you'd like to do the opposite and intensify it, We'll reach behind the shin of the top leg. Just try to open the chest, flatten the shoulders as much as possible. Okay, letting it release. It's coming to the second side. Now, because it's quite a high intensity workout, if you'd like to continue doing more stretching after this, please do. Um, if you've got the time available, an extra five or 10 minutes for stretching uh, we'll just do the world of good, so um, definitely do that if you can. So deep breaths here, bringing as much oxygen to the muscles we're stretching as we can. All right, from here, we're going to come up into a second position, so something for the inner thighs. Now, if you're only at 90 degrees or even less than that, that's fine. Main thing is that we're just wanting to stretch the groin and the inner thighs, as I said. If you'd like to add a reach, we'll bring one arm towards the foot and the top arm, we're moving into this reach up and beyond the toes instead of collapsing down into the ear. Let's come over to the second side. So as you're going through this one, try and keep the sit bones on the ground especially the sit bone of the trailing leg. You might start to notice the butt cheek lifts off the floor a little. So if you can keep some weight into that sit bone, do it. Now the last one we'll do is just a quick core stretch. So if we come onto the front, we'll take our cobra, bringing the feet out a little wider than hip distance apart. And we're just gonna take our back extension here. You'd like to take a little twist you can do that now take it slow and just enjoy any little clicks and cracks through the back and we'll make our way back to center lowering it down and sitting back to child's pose the last one that we're going to do is for the lower back especially after uh, the back extension exercise so we're going to bring our knees together in contact and then bringing both arms over to the left hand side and hopefully from here, we should feel this stretch through the entire right side of the body. Okay, now we'll walk it over to the second side. Right, coming back to center and we will call a day there. So. Congratulations if you made it through the entire thing. Uh, make sure you go and drink a lot of water now. 
rehydrate. Again, do some extra stretching if you've got the time. And I will see you here for the next one.